Hey, I'm Ray Alcala, four-time eNASCAR champion, and this was my first time in a late model here at Hickory Motor Speedway. <laughs> What's going on YouTube? Landon Huffman here back with another video. We are out here at Hickory Motor Speedway. We've got another iRacer gonna test for us today at JSR and Huffman Racing. We got four-time Coca-Cola iRacer Series champion Ray Alfala out here. I've known Ray for a very long time, so I'm excited to see what he does in a race car for the very first time. First time ever in a stock car, period. He's uh, arguably the winningest eNASCAR driver of all time, so uh, we'll see how he does. Shout out to Virtual Racing School, Joe Gibbs Racing, Interstate Batteries, iRacing, everybody that's helped make this happen. Hope you guys enjoy this video, man. It's gonna be a fun one. So Landon's gonna run a few laps, just shake the car down, get a good, uh, good measure of how much grip the track has, get me a good, good lap time to shoot for, or at least look really close to it. So we're about to get the show on the road. Really a bad thing. It does have some over rotation, so I was gonna, I was thinking, Clay, that's got a lot of bar load in it for one, okay, or some bar load. Um, what do you think to try to help him all? I, mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do nothing right to say, yeah, just let him go right now. Okay. All right, now I'm not gonna tighten these down until you get uh, I'll tighten it down. Now put your earbuds in. Yeah, there's a little bit. Uh, right drive. Give it just a little break. All right. Middle to help keep it settled so you're not chasing it up the track. Down here, your foot's not coming completely off the throttle, dead center. See, so like you're barely touching the throttle, but make sure your right foot's coming off of it, dead middle, right here. Crazy. <laughs> You're driving it, bud. Bro, it feels like I'm falling out way. Like, <laughs> it feels like I'm like it's pulling it that way. Yeah. It feels like I'm on the right side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely. Uh, well, yeah, I guess because you're not used to it, like these at all. I mean, it's definitely different. You feel it pulling your seat. Yeah, it's, it's just a weird feeling. But yeah. It feels... Everything okay with the wheel and everything? Yeah. Um, right now you're you're at the end. You're getting into one about as hard as you need to be okay. but you're, you're up just a little too far not necessarily on the wall you just need to when you come off the wall you need to give it a little more wheel and like turn it straighter off the wall okay. down into the bottom because now you might do that and then you get uh, to the middle and you feel like it's too free right when you get back to the hey, gas that's okay but a lot of your speed right now is like from here to here just because you're opening it up same thing down here like you're getting in and you're Picking the throttle up, like that one time you picked it up early, you, you felt what I was talking about. Like, you pick it up too soon, the car just wants to shove. Mm -hmm. So, you have to let the car finish. But the reason it wasn't working for you early in the run is because you weren't getting in the corner hard enough. So, once you started getting in the corner hard enough, you could feel the car pivot in the middle. And then, once you pick the gas up, it feels more natural. Okay. So, down here, you started getting in the corner good, harder. Don't be afraid to enter a little shallower. Oh, no. oh, no. This run, facing forward. 
and then I'm gonna mount it up here, facing back at you. Okay, sure. shoving you up the track it just won't continue the corner correct yeah. there's like a delay in the yeah. and by then I just won't yeah. 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 yeah i'd say race pace i mean if you if we were fast forward to even like a, a race pace with that many laps it'd be right there with it them. wouldn't you wouldn't be far off right now to truthfully no. travis what do you think about today's festivities here i think today was a roaring success <laughs> i uh, think ray did very good it's hot. It's not that hot. The sun's been it's gone still the whole day. It's very hot. You think this is hot? We talk about Yeah, I know. <laughs> There's a storm of brewing, folks. <laughs> so I believe, uh, I believe today was everything and more than uh, I anticipated. I mean, Ray did an excellent job. He got up to speed way quicker than I first thought he was going to. So. I want to see him race, man. I, I think that it's just interesting to see the transition from the sim because, you know, when somebody's never been in a race car before, you got to thank Ray, just like Blake the other week. You know, Ray has never set in a race car, minus a Mazda Miata around Homestead, you know, road course. So for him to be able to jump in a car, literally go straight out on the track and in five laps be within, you know, three, four tenths of like fast race pace, it's incredible. So I think it's a testament to I racing the sim. Um, how close it actually is to the real thing. You know, maybe there's intricacies here and there. Obviously, the sensations that you get in a real car that you don't have on the sim, but just a general idea of, you know, knowing when to lift, when to be back on the throttle, brake inputs, you know, car control, things like that. That's all something that, you know, you don't, you don't just get in a car and know. Naturally, Ray got in the car and knew it because of the sim. So I think it's really cool. Uh, thank you, Interstate Batteries, VRS, uh, Joe Gibbs Racing, iRacing, everybody that uh, helped us and Jason Smith do this for Ray. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool. And uh, we'll see what happens. I think Ray has an opportunity maybe to find a little money, go racing a little bit. Maybe we can have some fun with it. But appreciate all you guys for watching. If you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We're on our way to 10K. And uh, like I said, have a good morning, evening, night whenever you're watching this. I'll catch you in the next one.